Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a quartic equation, a polynomial equation with degree 4. We have x to the 4th power plus 7x minus 12 equals 0, and we're going to be looking for x values, real and complex, all of them. Great. So, you know, there's a quartic formula which kind of depends on solving the cubic, and the cubics can be solved by using Cardano's formula, Tartaglia's formula, Ferrero, Ferrero, you know, a lot of guys who worked on this, but, you know, anyways. Uh, but those formulas are complicated, and this problem is kind of special because we're missing a lot of terms. We don't have the x cubed, we don't have the x squared. So we're going to try to factor this polynomial uh, using um, integer uh, coefficients, okay? So let's go ahead and write this as a product of two quadratic polynomials. And this is what it's going to look like. So you can go ahead and write it like set it equal to x squared plus ax plus b multiplied by x squared plus cx plus d. But one thing to keep in mind is we don't have x uh, cubed. And if you think about how you can get x cubed from here, uh, the only way to do that is either you multiply x squared by x or x by x squared. We don't have a lot of choices. So in order for them to cancel out, for example, in this case, you're going to get cx cubed and ax cubed, and you want that to be 0x cubed. So that means a plus c is equal to 0, or a and c are opposites. So instead of going through lots of loops here, we can go ahead and do the following. We can just go ahead and write our expression in such a way that a and C will always cancel out, or C doesn't even exist. So it, here's what it looks like. We're going to write x squared plus ax plus b as our first factor. And the second factor, instead of using cx, I'm going to use minus ax. And then I can use a c now for the uh, constant. Or if you don't like that, you can use a d. OK, doesn't matter. No big deal. This is fine. Now, when you multiply, when you distribute the x squared over the negative ax, you get a negative ax cubed, and then you get a positive ax cubed, so the x cubed cancels out. So this is good because it eliminates the number of variables we have to use. Therefore, uh, solving this as a system will be easier. Okay, so we did this so that x cubed can cancel out. Awesome. Having said that, let's go ahead and distribute this. So we're going to get, and I want to start with the right-hand side. So I have x to the fourth power minus ax cubed plus cx squared. I'm distributing, you know, this over everything, and then I'm going to be doing it for all the terms. And then I'm going to focus on ax. Uh, distribute ax cubed minus a squared x squared plus acx. And then I'm going to distribute b plus bx squared minus abx plus bc. Now, how did I know that I'm going to be getting um, integer coefficients from here? Well, when you start a problem like this, you don't sometimes. Or most of the time, you don't. You just test it out. If this doesn't work, then we're going to have to try something else. So x cubed cancels out. And let's go ahead and arrange the, the x squared terms together. So we have a c, b, and so it's going to be like b plus c. And then I have minus a squared. That is the coefficient of x squared. So I've taken care of this, this, and that to keep track. And then I have acx and minus abx. Let's go ahead and put those two together. And finally, I have the bc. And the whole thing is equal to that. x to the fourth min, uh, plus 7x minus 12. OK, we know that it's equal to this, right? Therefore, I can just go ahead and uh, designate or uh, just write down what the coefficients are for. So this is going to be, OK, we don't have any x squared here. So this is going to be 0. The coefficient of x in our expression is 7. And this is going to be negative 12. At this point, it's, you can kind of do guess and check if you want. But I'm actually going to solve this as a system. So it's not completely random. OK? So I get the following. Uh, b plus c equals a squared. And then I get AC minus AB is equal to 7. And I get BC equals negative 12. We have three variables and three equations, so it's all good. Let's go ahead and manipulate the second one a little bit. Um, take out A. 
and then divide by a so that we can get something for c minus b in the form of uh, a or in terms of a okay so this is something I'll, I'll be using now notice that i have b plus c and i have c minus b right so we can go ahead and put those together and eliminate so let's rewrite this as um, it doesn't really matter no big deal but i, I guess for convention's sake so we can write uh, the first one as c plus b equals a squared and second one as c minus b equals 7 over a then add these equations up b cancels out and we get 2c 2c or not 2c do you see what i see hopefully and now i'm going to you know, make a common denominator and from here i'll be solving for c so if you divide both sides by 2 or multiply by 1 half c becomes a cubed plus 7 over 2a awesome so i got c in terms of a and i would like to find b in terms of a as well but that's kind of easy because we know that uh, c plus b is a squared so uh, in other words b is a squared minus c right so i can write the b as a squared minus a cubed plus 7 over 2a and distributing you get 2a cubed minus a cubed a cubed minus 7 over 2a so for b you get kind of like a conjugate uh, looking term right these two are conjugates well whatever they are okay great now how do we put these two together we have a third equation remember we have bc equals negative 12 so now we're going to use that here bc is equal to what a cubed minus 7 over 2a times a cubed plus 7 over 2a because remember we found c first now their product is going to equal now from difference of two squares you get a to the 6 minus 49 over 4a squared and as you know bc equals negative 12 awesome so this is equal to negative 12 i know this kind of looks messy and six power is like what okay don't worry about it because we're gonna solve this and very it's gonna be very easy okay distribute or what is it called cross multiply yeah that's the term put everything on the same side and here um, I can do a little substitution here can I a squared let's call that K just for fun you can call F as well and you you're gonna get K cubed plus if you bring this guy over here 48 K minus 49 equal to 0 remember we've seen this a lot right the sum of the coefficients in a polynomial is 0 yay that means K equals 1 is a solution but K is a squared therefore you get two solutions well here you don't really have to worry about it because it's going to give you the same thing a equals one or a equals negative one now let's go ahead and find b and c from here so we can kind of plug it in if a is one uh let's see b becomes uh negative six divided by two. so b becomes negative three and c becomes four you can just plug it in it's the plus sign and when a is negative one uh b becomes four and c becomes negative 3. so notice that these numbers kind of switch around and that means um, in our expression you know a value is um, gonna be the same well it's not gonna be the same okay never mind uh, what am i talking about when a equals 1 this is the case so here's the thing uh, you're gonna get the same thing because the values uh, differ, uh, differ um, you know anyways I'm kind of confusing myself here too. So let's go ahead and rewrite this expression. Uh, remember our expression was written as x squared plus ax plus b and x squared minus ax plus c. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug these in. Let's use the first one. You're gonna get x squared plus x minus three and x squared, uh, this should be an x, not ac, it should be ax. Okay, I shouldn't be rushing. And that's gonna be minus x plus four. If you use the bottom ones, uh, the factors are just going to switch, so you're going to get the same thing. Never mind. So now set it equal to zero and solve this. Easy because these are quadratics, and you can just solve each one. The first one. Let's start with the first one. From here we get negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is one minus four ac plus twelve, and that's going to give you the following: negative one plus minus root thirteen over two. Awesome. And the other equation, unfortunately, well, I, should I say fortunately? I know some folks like complex numbers. Because the discriminant uh, is less than zero, 
you get negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, which is minus 16. And that is going to give you negative 15. You can write it as 1 plus minus square root of 15i, which is the number whose square equals negative 1. And then we get all the solutions here. All right? Awesome. And now, here's what happens. If you go ahead and look at... If you go ahead and look at a graph of this, you're going to notice something interesting. Uh, this is a cortic, but it'll only intersect the, the x-axis at two points. And you kind of see those values. Um, they're kind of symmetrical. Anyways, there is a minimum point, so on and so forth. But this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.